And what is the agenda? It's a radical equality of result. If you sum up the woke movement today, in every aspect, environmental, social, mm -hmm. cultural, economic, it is that any inequality anywhere in the Western world can be attributed yep. to some sort of exploitation. It doesn't matter about a person's individual circumstances, whether they're aggressively a workaholic or inert or lazy, or whether they have good genes or bad genes, or whether they have a big inheritance or whether they have a bad back, all the millions of things that we can't, we can't control in the tragic view. So we say to ourselves, we want a quality of opportunity. Everybody gets a, a, an equal shot and we'll try to help people that have uh, disadvantages, but no. It's that person is not like that person. I'm anointed to adjudicate on the back end. I'm going to have an equality of result. And I need power to do a lot of tough stuff. Mm. And this is the motto of everybody from, you know, from Pol Pot to Stalin to Mao. Power. It's about power. And that's what they want to do. They want mm. the power so they can determine everybody's life. You are using too much. You've got your air conditioner on too much. A poor person yeah. in Fresno doesn't have that. No, he doesn't have that. So I'm going to take that away from you. Yeah. But I'll keep mine going. Yes. And, I'm and I'll go out and buy yes. some carbon credits somewhere yes. Yes. with some shonky scheme. They always think of that, don't they? Yeah. I can have a... Nobody should live in America more than 1,500 square feet, but I have five 20,000 square foot homes. But I have had the carbon offsets. That's what yeah. they do. They dream up these things. So that I, I feel like they're, they're creatures at Versailles and they're very dangerous. And uh, it's very hard for us to criticize them because they're so moralistic and they're always, the right is always, I'm for the individual. Yeah. And when the individual makes more than another individual, my duty as a Western citizen is to appeal to the better angels of their nature or their religion and or their shame or their culture, or their family and say, share it with your, your poor brother or your cousin doesn't have enough, or help your child, or if you go beyond that with a community, or help. But they don't trust the individual. They say, no, no, we are the state, and we're gonna tell that person, we're gonna take him away. He got that only because he exploited somebody, and he didn't have it, not because he used drugs, not because he committed a crime, not because he, it was only because the system was unfair to him. There's some truth in both sides, but not, that's not the truth. Let me test two theories with, theories with you then. Yeah. Yeah. The first is that you've mentioned Versailles. They're playing with fire. The social disharmony that will result if we continue, as I've been in government long enough to see the pattern since the great financial crisis through COVID and now in the name of arresting climate change, we're pursuing policies that are indeed continuing to make these squillionaires wealthier than ever whilst everybody else's living standards are being pushed down. Yeah. The Marie Antoinette moment, let them eat cake, yes. said in contempt, resulted in her losing her head. Yeah. So well, we've never, these are intelligent, I don't suppose I know history because they don't think yes. history matters, you can but history would tell them they're playing with fire in they, the end. They are, and so in the United States, we had 120 days of rioting in May to November of 2020, yeah. continuous. 35 to 50 people were killed, $2 billion of property damage, uh, 14,000 people arrested and let go, uh, 1,500 police officers. And that was, that was exempt from criticism. Kamala Harris, who was going to shortly be the vice president candidate, said the rioting should, the, the protest should, and she knew they were violent. They tried to storm the White House ground. Uh, Nicole Hannah-Jones, the architect of 1619, said, ah, Theft is not a crime. Property is not a crime if you take somebody's property. So we're, the left said, that's okay. We had one day of a bunch of buffoonish people who rioted over the election. And so they went... And that's a threat to democracy. Yeah, they, yeah that was a threat to democracy. What they don't understand is, though... Not, not, that, I want to, not that I want to downplay the stupidity. No, I think it was a terrible thing that happened. I want anybody who committed a felony to be properly punished. But my point is, if you tell middle-class people you're not going to be able to afford to fill up your truck at $7 for diesel fuel, or you're not going to turn on your air conditioning because it's a sin and we're gonna make it 30 kilowatt. And 
you're going to be on that forklift at 18 and you're going to pay taxes for this guy with a gender studies major at Stanford on his loan forgiveness. Uh, you're playing with fire with of going after them and then you keep calling them semi-fascist. <music>